everyone. My name is Tracy Chapla and I'm a kindergarten teacher at Rogers Elementary School in the Melville School District. Today I wanted to talk to you about a math concept called subitizing. Subitizing is just the ability to instantly recognize how many of something there is without having to count one by one. This really builds a child's foundation of number sense and helps them to be fluid and flexible with numbers, realizing that numbers can be made up in different ways. And then it ultimately sets a foundation for addition and subtraction. Some activities you can do at home to practice subitizing is to use your fingers and just hold up you know, two fingers. Your child should be able to tell you that's two without having to count. Um, obviously, as you hold up more fingers, it becomes more challenging. So right now your child might have to count to know that's six, but eventually if you practice, they should be able to tell you this is six fingers without having to count one, two, three, all the way to six. Another activity you can do to build uh, subitizing fluency is just to use dice. So any games with dice are great. Um, you could just use these without a game and roll the dice and say, okay, how many? And your child should be able to tell you six. You can use you know, more dice to make it more challenging. You could have your child make their own board game, just draw a board game on paper and then use the dice to play with them. Um, some other activities you can use, if you Google subitizing, you'll find a lot of flashcards online or you could just make your own. I just made my own on an index card. Um, we start the year off with simpler numbers. So we would want them to easily be able to say that's three before we move to something like this. But eventually, as you can see, they would know that three and one is four. So that's kind of where you see it building the foundation for addition. Another game you could do is a bingo type game. So I found this online, but you can also just draw your own. And then you call off numbers to your child and they would just mark it off. So if you called off six, they would find the different formations of six. So if you, know, you called it off one time, they might mark that off. And then later, if you call six, they might mark that off. But it's really teaching them to instantly recognize those numbers and to start making groups um, and realizing how those can form to make a number. The last thing I want to show you today is dominoes. So dominoes is another great thing you can use. I didn't have any on hand, so I printed some, but you can also just make your own on paper. Um, and then you can have a number board where your child would take the domino and just place it on top of the number that it makes. So that's just another activity that we would use and we would um, use this later on in the year to practice with supervising. So I hope these are some helpful ideas that you can use at home. We're so excited to meet you guys in just a few weeks. I hope you have a great rest of the summer. Thank you.